Hello! Good day everyone! Today, we will have a fun learning session in science. Are you excited? I am Mom Eileen at your service. Our lesson for today is about animals. Characteristics of vertebrates. This video is about describing the distinguishing characteristics of each group of vertebrates and classifying each group of vertebrates. Let us start, kids! Animals can be found anywhere in our environment. In the sea, grassland, forests, ponds, sanctuary, and even in our homes. These animals in different ecosystems and habitat are classified into two, the vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with backbones. Cows, parrot, frog, fish, and gecko are some examples of vertebrates. While invertebrates are animals without backbones. Jellyfish, snail, shrimp, spider, and earthworm are some of the examples of invertebrates. Bones are predominant feature in the body of vertebral animals that serve as protection of their internal organs. The presence of bones in the animal's body helps the animals to walk, jump, crawl, and swim. Animals can be viviparous or oviparous. Viviparous are animals that are born alive by their parents, such as cats, dogs, horses, monkeys, and cows. Oviparous are animals that are hatched from egg, such as crocodiles, snakes, duck, ostrich, and chickens. Vertebrates are grouped into five. Mammals, fish, birds, amphibians, and reptiles. Mammals are warm-blooded animals that are born alive or viviparous. They have hair or fur as their body covering, like pig, horse, goat, cat, dog, and cow. They have mammary gland to feed their young with their milk. Most of the mammals have four legs, but there are also mammals that can fly or swim like bat and whale. Now I have a question. Are humans mammals? Hmm, let us see. Our temperature stays about the same. We are born alive. We grow hair on our bodies. We have backbone. We breathe air. And our mothers feed us milk when we are babies. So, yes. Humans are mammals. Now, let us discuss about fish. Fish are cold-blooded animals covered with scales. They are animals hatched from egg. Here are some examples. Sardine, milkfish, tuna, clownfish, and shark. They use their tail and fins to swim. They use their scales and gills to breathe. Now let us move on to birds. Birds are warm-blooded animals hatched from egg or oviparous. They have a pair of limbs for hopping and a pair of wings used in flying. Some examples of birds are hummingbird, pigeon, owl, parrot, and eagle. Most of the birds can fly, but there are also birds that cannot fly, such as 
emu, ostrich, penguin, cassowary, and kiwi. Birds have beak or bill, and it is used in getting food as well as for protecting themselves from their enemies. Now, let us talk about amphibians. They are cold-blooded animals hatched from egg. They spend part of their lives in water and part on land. They have moist and scaleless skin. Toad, Sicilian, Newt, and Salamander are amphibians. The last group of animal is reptile. Reptiles are cold-blooded vertebrates hatched from egg. They have dry, scaly skin and some have shells, such as gecko, chameleon, lizard, crocodile, snake, and turtle. So now, let us wrap up all the science concepts that we have learned today. Vertebrates are classified as mammals, fish, birds, amphibians, and reptiles. Mammals are animals that are born alive and have hair or fur as their body covering. Fish are animals that have scales, fins, and gills and live in water. Reptiles are animals that have a dry, scaly skin and hatch from egg. Amphibians are animals that have moist skin and can live both on land and in water. Birds are animals with beak or bill and have wings. That's it for our lesson for today. Good job, class! Thank you for watching and listening. Hope you understand the lesson well. For more educational content, don't forget to subscribe. See you again for another fun learning session. Bye!